members of the committee. I know, well, you joined us late last uh, session, uh, Representative Tarvin, but uh, Representative Tomlin, I believe you're you're new to us. If you uh, would like to introduce yourself, uh, we'll put you on the spot to, to everybody, and uh, we welcome you. And you're number about 17. Testing? Okay. Uh, my name is um, Representative Erica Thomas. I have District 39, which is Austell, Powder Springs, Mableton, and Smyrna, a little bit of Smyrna. I have Alicia Thomas Morgan's old district. I am happy to be here and be on the committee, and I'm ready to work. Well, well thank you, and, and uh, welcome aboard. Um, all we have this afternoon, I, I want to share a couple things uh, with the, the committee after we do this, but all we, uh, what I would like to ask the committee's indulgence for is to uh, uh, take a quick look inside your folder and review the rules uh, of the committee. Uh, and at, uh, after everyone's had time to do that, um, I would like to uh, ask for an, a motion uh, to adopt those rules when everybody's had, had, a, had time to review them. I'll, I'll accept that as a motion in a second uh, to adopt the rules as they're presented and asked at this time. And does anybody have a question on the rules or anything for discussion about the rules of the committee? Good. They, they are very similar to what we have uh, operated under in the past. Uh, so we'll, we'll do that. So if there's no discussion, all those in favor uh, of adopting the rules signify by saying aye. aye. Any opposed, same sign. The rules are adopted. Um, we, I do have a couple of things uh, to share, and then we'll, we'll move on. And again, I apologize for bringing everybody over here, but we did need to organize and, and share uh, a bit of information. Um, I'm also going to ask Jesse and, and Fallon to introduce themselves and tell tell us about them. You, you, uh, if I'll turn you on there first, uh, they're going to work with us on our committee uh, this year. Jesse, please. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I'm Jesse Wethington. I'm with the House Budget uh, uh, Research Office. I principally do the Community Health Subcommittee, but also have Budget and Fiscal Affairs. Uh, this is my second year on this committee, and I uh, have Human Relations and Aging as well. Thank you, Jesse. Fallon Goodman works uh, up uh, in my office with uh, Sam Teasley and I. And yes, good Fallon, say hello. Hi, Fallon Goodman. I'm Chuck, Representative Chuck Martin's Administrative Assistant and Sam Teasley as well. This is my second session. I'm happy to be here. Okay, and I, I'll ask for Fallon. I think we had sent some information out to, to try to get um, some information where we could stay in contact with you all. If you haven't gotten that to her, uh, please do. We, we will keep that within the breast of the committee. That's not information that we'll... Uh, We'll make public so if you, you hand us our, your, your cell phones or something it's just if we need to get information out to you uh, we want to make sure everybody is included so if you could get that information uh, out to her um, to finish our business uh, and then I'll ask if, if the community members have anything they'd like to do I, I've again inserted um, just a, a, a brief statement um, that was put together uh, actually all the way back in 06 uh, when this committee was put together uh, before I uh, took the committee uh, as chair uh, that talks a little bit about what we would try to do here um, and, and to synopsize that it is to you know review uh, uh, tax policy as passed by the Ways and Means Committee um, appropriations uh, acts and, and the, the bills that we pass by the Appropriation Committee and, and work to make sure those things are implemented as to the legislative intent I'll leave that to everyone to look at you'll get an email later from me um, I was going to have information to pass out to you, but it has a long hyperlink in it for a, for the new uh, tax expenditures report. So rather than to put that on paper where we would all have to type it in to a hi uh, hyperlink, I'm just going to send that out by email. This is the new tax expenditure report. Uh, and, and for the new, new representatives, Representative Thomas, this was uh, generated by some legislation passed by this committee uh, several sessions ago. And this is put together by Georgia State and, and uh, looked over by our Department of Audits. And it basically tells anything that is a tax credit or a tax exemption, it's, it's their best count of how much tax revenue that is costing the state. Um, given the, the needs that we have, I think it's especially important for us to keep an eye on that, to, to look at that. So I'd, I'd like to pass that link to everyone and um, you know, have you look around in there. I mean, not every... 
I, I will say this. I think every tax expenditure, every tax credit or tax exemption probably has somebody that's going to advocate for keeping it. Uh, that said, probably not everyone still works today. Uh, one that is near and dear to my heart lately is, is one uh, passed in 1998, and we won't litigate that in the committee today, but it was a, a tax credit uh, that was put in place before a situation that has a, come about in, in 2014 and 15 that, that's costing the state $50, $60 million a year. And put in perspective, um, the state could pay for a billion dollars worth of bonds, $1 billion worth of 20-year bonds, I say only when I say only cost, cost $85 million a year. So through this tax uh, expenditure, this tax um, credit that was put in place in 1998 before any of us, I guess, yeah, any of us were in the legislature in 1998, was put in place. That's costing us north of $50 million a year. So we could almost pay for that billion dollars we're looking for in transportation. If, if we take that tax credit off the books, we would pay for over two thirds of that billion dollars in transportation without any new revenue coming into the state. If we just so, I'm going to ask each each one of y'all in your spare time, because I, and I say that in jest. I know everybody's busy, but to look through this and see if you see something that that might be worth a discussion uh, in in terms of of a rollback. And when, at the right time, if we come to a conclusion about that as a committee, we may. may uh, seek to introduce some piece of legislation as, as a group here over to go through the ways and means process and chairman powell's committee and see if we find a consensus across um you know a bipartisan consensus to do that so that's the one thing you'll get in the email the second thing that i'll have for you next week is a copy of the comprehensive annual financial report of the state um, it, it's out there for us to look at online but it has some unfunded liabilities in it that, that i'd like for us to take a better look at um, that ha are going to have to be put on the state's books because of new accounting procedures. You, you heard me talk a little bit about those last year. Those are the OPEB unfunded liabilities that we'll, we'll continue to work with OPB and, and the, the um, House and the Senate uh, budget offices to work with. But I want to get us that book. And uh, to that, we're going to either next week or the week following ask uh, the state auditor to come in and talk to us a little bit about how they do things and how the numbers are accounted for. Um, in, into the CAFR, what's referred to the CAFR. So that's that's where we're headed. Um, we don't have, a, as you guys are aware, we don't have a lot of legislation in the committee. I think we'll have a couple of bills uh, that folks have come to me and talked about that we'll have uh, um, that, that come through here. But, you know, most of our work this session in, is going to be around where we can identify opportunities to save a dollar. I mean, the, the old adage that saving a dollar is just like earning one, I think that could be good for all of our, our folks. With that, I thank everybody again for coming. I know I'm probably between you you all and, and getting back home for uh, the rest of the week. Does anyone else have anything that they'd like to share for the, the good of the committee? I have, um, last thing, I've been remiss in not introducing a uh, vice chair of our committee again this year, Representative Brett Harrell, and um, Mandy Ballinger is our uh, secretary for our com committee. So uh, if we, as we get scattered around, as we start to work on things, uh, the three of us are, are going to try to divide and conquer, and, and as you guys bring things for us to look at with these tax expenditures, really drill down and do that. Any further thing? Is, is there anybody in the audience that wishes to uh, offer any uh, words of wisdom to us as, as we start on this, this search? Anyone in the audience? If not, I believe our next scheduled meeting is 2 o'clock next Wednesday, at, at which time uh, the, the I'm sorry, it, it will be in 515, and I'll try to do a better job of communicating that. Um, I got a week ahead of myself, and uh, we are looking, uh, we, we may be able to have the state auditor scheduled at that time. If not, it would be the following. If there's no further uh, business before the committee, we'll stand adjourned without objection. So, no objection, we are adjourned.